Hello. In this video, we are going to discuss the five shapes of a G major pentatonic scale. I'll tell you the shapes and you can switch it anywhere. We start with the G major, but you can switch to the C and A and you start the same shapes from there and the shapes goes everywhere on the whole fretboard. So okay, there's just a five shapes you should learn to just, you know, you know, just, just move around the, your, your uh, scale on the whole fretboard. So let's get to our first shape. Let's start from this, this G note and G major scale. You all, you know that like this G, A, B, C, D, E, and sharp G. This is your G major scale. So this first shape starts from this G note. This goes like this. simple every 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 shape starts from one note forward second shape starts from this A note like this and now move to the third shape which is like start from this B note Every string, uh, every every shape has uh, like at least uh, sometime it uh, only one string has a two note rather string. Most of the time it, there are three notes. So do it again. Now get to the fourth shape, which is start from this D. It goes like this. almost covering the whole whole fretboard you see that and now you last fifth shape after this we start this G note starts again this fifth shape is start from C note so it's go like this now that's back to the G note so this is a whole fret you covered from this five shapes so you can just you know you can just move around the whole fretboard playing this if somebody is playing this G chord G major then you can go for this play solos over this shape and you jump in the different positions okay this mathematics is same for every note like if you want to go for the C then first shape this first shape which is like this here it will become like from for the C note like same. So this was one of the basic like playing for the modes uh, if you have different modes uh, if shapes then you can play on the whole fretboard but at least one of the main thing you should do with this is you have to remember the fretboard as well it's a very difficult task I know that but shapes and modes are not very easy to play until unless you know the uh, all the notes on your fretboard so just practice on that just put on some um, uh, some backing track like even use a looper Put the G major chord and then play the whole, you know, whole play it on the whole whole fretboard. It definitely enhances your playing, and at least in the first place, you can just all you you can do just remember the first note with the G G note on the whole fretboard, and thus whenever you're playing the G major chord on the behind on the looper, then you can just start from the G, and you should know all the position or all the position on the whole fretboard for the G note at least. It will enhance your playing as well. Someday we're going to. You know, uh, have a lecture on the modes as well and I'll definitely tell you what what is the what is the, why modes are very very useful why solo playing and they are easy and at the same time they're difficult as well so if you want to make them easy then you start you know just impress your band with some few you know, licks and all that you can do it with, with a very with a minimum amount of practice but we'll cover in the other lecture so thanks for watching please subscribe to my channel for any upcoming videos 